We are in a somewhat noisy suburban neighborhood here, testing out an inverted downdraft wood gasifier stove. We're still waiting for uh, pyrolysis to happen. I believe that's the right word, although it's probably not. Um, but anyway, it's still burning some of the wood instead of uh, letting the gas escape. Um, when the gas has had a chance to escape, I expect to see the flames coming from the, the little vents that might be hard to see in this terrible cell phone video, but in the sides, just on the inside wall. So we'll see how it goes. While waiting for pyrolysis, it's worth noting that this is a windy day and also that this uh, stove is made from two paint cans, a quart size and a pint size of uncoated can so they don't have that epoxy lining that most paint cans would come with and I spray painted them with high heat um, black paint engine paint just to try to keep the steel from rusting we'll see how it holds up to the heat all right it might be somewhat hard to notice because of the wind here but the uh, the flames are definitely coming from the gas on the inside. That's uh, coming out of the inside jets on the, or jets is the wrong term, but the inside holes on the inner cup. And I can smell that uh, uh, zinc plating on that galvanized uh, wire cloth, hardware cloth uh, burning off. So metal fume fever, here I come. Looking forward to that. But I don't know if you can tell the way that flame is curving upward there that it is gas coming from between the walls from inside the outer wall and outside the inner wall uh, being uh, sucked down through uh, through the air coming in through these vents and the grating underneath and, uh, and then uh, combusting from the heat from the heat from the uh, the the wood as it um, as it gives off its gas. Uh, there's hardly any smoke. It's mostly just pure flames at this point. Um, there was some smoke in the beginning. Smoke now. Part of me thinks that it's dead. totally awesome fumes from paint and uh, zinc uh, rushing to give me a headache and uh, make me feel like throwing up. But we'll see. Yeah, this view is just is a much clearer view of the fire. You can see how the the flames are coming from the the holes and not from the wood. So that's that's a good sign. You can see that ring of fire curling up and out of the out of the holes. It's actually quite pretty. From this angle, there's a lot more unused wood than what I was expecting, so it's possible that either the wood was the wrong size, or it burned the wrong way, or both, or something might have gone wrong, because there should be very, very little ash when everything's said and done, although it is still in the process of burning, so we'll have to see. And just in case anyone was wondering, the outer wall is ridiculously hot also, as I just discovered the old-fashioned way, so don't try to pick it up once it's in full gear here.